Hello everybody, Romegas here, welcoming you back to World Box. Today we're going to be doing something, it's going to be similar to kind of what we did last time with the zombies. But we're going to add a little bit of a unique twist. First of all, I'm going to connect a lot more of the land. We had some problems where they could not pass mountains. Now, in a traditional zombie-esque survival thing, the big thing is there is a lot of, you know... Zombies attacking a village, you have the final holdout, that kind of thing. So what we're going to do this time is we are actually going to basically partition a piece of land, and that is going to be the last holdout of humanity. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make a huge mountain range. This will keep us kind of like blocked in for the early portion. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set humans inside here, and they're basically going to be forced into this little kind of like small-ish area. And it'll kind of be the idea of humanity's last holdout. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to let the, uh, we're basically going to let the humans go. Now, just to double check everything and make sure, we are going to have it that creatures cannot die from old age. I don't really want that to happen. Um, and we're going to have it that everyone does not need it to live. Basically, they can live without it. So, yeah. And we're going to end up sending it that, like, so we're going to have it be that we're going to select some humans. And we're just going to plop them in here. And they are going to hopefully thrive and expand in this little area. Now I'm going to throw down some additional resources because they probably will need some. I did not think they would go ahead and start building a separate civilization, you dumbos, but okay. It's alright, we'll have them get plopped down. And I might change it so that Kingdom expansion will send to establish new villages. I think we want that. And I, we might end up sending it that uh, the humans are kind of evil to each other. I don't want this to end up being that there's multiple separate ones. So once this is all established and ready, I'll be back. Alright, so we're hitting that point where we pretty much have everybody built in. Our towns are looking good. I think this is a good, solid starting spot. So we've got about 400-ish uh, villagers. They are pink, like taking out some of the zombies as they're able to come in. But we've got a crap ton of zombies just, you know, wandering the wayside. I'm going to add a few more. Now, there are zombie uh, pigs, zombie cows, everything that you can possibly think of. Now I'm, gonna, uh, I'm just going to keep clicking. Add some more. And I think we're at a good spot now. There are a ton of zombies just kind of meandering around, roving the countryside. And what we're going to do is we're going to take out these walls and basically see how long the humans last. I don't think the humans will win because, well, it seems like a bad time all around for them. So we're going to do... It is now open. And basically, yeah, we've got... Uh, We've got the humans starting to be barraged already. So the zombies are breaking in. The humans are actually going out to fight them. But this is the bad thing right here. There is a ton of zombies. Will they? I don't know if they're going to last very long. The zombies are coming in from every different direction. Except for really over here. This looks like this is the... If they move out towards the west, we might actually see the humans have a little bit of a chance. But there is a big group coming in right here. And this is where a lot of the converting of people is taking place. So what are we at? We're at set... Oh my gosh, we lost about 300 people. And there's a bunch of zombies coming in from the east coast. Oh no, and now like... We got a bunch of people being converted over here. It's slow going. But... Ah uh, yeah, see as they die, they're getting infected. And that's the problem right there. We're going to slowly start to see, you can see all the green as zombies, and there's still a ton out hanging out over here. So they are, wow, they are really taking this down. 
I think so far the humans have only lasted about a minute. It's unreal how quickly this is falling. Now, let's see, is there any way we could help out the humans? Could we do anything to help out the human beings? I mean, there's only about eight left. We could. You know what, no, we're just gonna, what do I do? If I do like, oh yeah, there we go. So we'll take out a couple of the zombies for them. I don't think it's gonna matter. It's looking like, oh, this village fell. There's two people going. He's trying, oh, he's holding out. Where is the last person? Oh, there he is. Oh no, he's all done. Yeah, it looks like humanity fell pretty darn quick to that zombie, like, destruction. Now, I wonder, there's only one thing to do as a god with this, and that's destroy everything. You have to destroy it all. And we have to see if we've completely obliterated all the zombies or if there's going to be some more. Did we get them all? Is it slowly retracts into the sea? Yes. It looks like we did. It looks like we got them all. But wait! <laughs> There's one more zombie who's drowning. Anyway, yes, it doesn't look like humanity has much of a chance against a zombie outbreak. Oh, there actually is like a little patch of land I missed. You know what? We'll throw a zombie there for it. Yep, there we go. So it looks like, unfortunately, humanity did not have much of a chance against them. Next time, perhaps we'll check out something different, see if we can maybe do something a little bit different, see if we can maybe have a uh, another challenge. And if you guys have a recommendation or want to see one, let me know. I would love to create some more silly ones for this. Maybe a wizard versus wizard, see how that goes. But until next time, this is Reb Mega saying, I'll catch you later.